Today I'm here with David McNamara, who's under 23 world champion and starting to make his way in the professional game. Uh, Dee, great to have you here. Yeah. You're going to show us uh, a few things about doubles today. Um, I'll try. Yeah, before you show us your, your trick on the doubles or your tip on the doubles, the doubles have become a really popular part mm -hmm. of the game, haven't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of like a cheat code, really. I mean, if you don't land on a ball down the rail or it doesn't go, you know, instead of playing a cannon, sort of players nowadays try and land on the double, you know, you're sort of still in control of the table, you know, instead of trying to kick it out. Um, one of the best doubles in the game, for Cypher Simmons, Chris Mellon, you know, they, they, they do the play a lot of doubles in the finish, you know. And, and, and like I say, they play for them, just so, so you know, you're not relying on luck with the cannons or, or anything like that, really. So our doubling's got a massive part of the game. So, to get confident with the doubles, you need to practice it. What yeah. uh, what have you got to, to be able to practice and get better at doubles? <laughs> well, it's sort of, I don't know if it's a myth, but it's something I've always used, and you know, when I've spoke to people about it, and it's, it seems to work for them as well. Is when I was a kid, I got taught to learn how to play a double. If it's on the cushion as where it is now, I'd pretend there was a table attached to this table. I know it sounds really mad, but when you're down on your shot, you can sort of imagine it. So if I was trying to double this ball here, here into that pocket, I would pretend that there's another table attached to this table. So, you know, perfectly touching. Yeah, yeah, yeah touching. And all I would try to do is try and pot it into the far left pocket, in the far right pocket from where I'm stood. You know, because um, Doubling is quite tough when you go to tables that you're not used to, and obviously there's different types of tables, black ball, supreme, sent by four, there's loads. You know, and all the cushions do play different, so to get sort of your radar on your doubles, this is how I sort of do it. And I mean, I'll just put it just off straight, so it's not a, an easy forward double. And I'm sort of aiming for that far pocket. And I that. No problem at all. Yeah, that, that was a fluke. No, anyway. But yeah, uh, and it works up and down, it works into the corners. Um, I mean, I just, the middles is a bit different because you can sort of guide that yourself, um, sort of like this. So it's the same on it's the same aspect, so you're just rolling it and it's centre of the bag. But you're feeling this, the ones in the centre you're feeling a lot more, you're not picking the point away. No, well, I do when I'm stood up, when you're sort of down, you can sort of get your own vibe on the double on the middle as well, because when you're playing a double into the middle, sometimes they can double kiss, you know, you've got to take that into consideration, but, you know, the, same, the basis of using the table next to the table works really well, and it works up and down, and it also works on the cocked acts, you know, off the three cushion in the middle. Okay, you show sure so, us that one? Yeah, so this is a, a little one, I use it as a little trick in the pub. Um, I'd imagine the tables next to the table again. Well, instead of aiming for the pocket, I would aim between halfway. So I know we're on halfway the cushion, sort of like in the middle of the table yeah. on the bull climb. And it's sort of, let's see if I can get it right, goes like this. Like that. That's pretty good. Yeah. So it's a good guide, I mean it doesn't always work, but I'd probably say four out of five. Um, and like I say, it depends what table you're on. And the pace you hit it obviously, because the harder you hit it, the harder it straightens up. And up and down the table, this is a very rare one, but let's give it a go. Play it the other way around, play it from this way. Oh, play it from this way, sorry, yeah. there you go. So I would imagine the table's just that side now. And you know, obviously these are probably the toughest, yeah, toughest definitely. in the you game. You don't see many of these going. You don't get many of these in the game, but same again, same aspect. Yeah. Pretty close though. Pretty, pretty close. I'll have, I'll have one more go trying yeah. to adjust it. Maybe I was just missing the pot on the But these the are table. much harder doubles playing length oh, of yeah, tables. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So. Yeah. I mean you don't you don't play this tech game, this shot in the game much. How about one? Well that's oh, not bad. Yeah, no. Excellent stuff. So you the best way to, to practice this is, is to go ahead and imagine that table next yeah, to it yeah, to, mean, to allow you to pick out your spot and this mm -hmm. really helps to work for the corner doubles which yeah. is going to help your, your doubling and improve yeah, the game. Yeah, 100%. Like I say, the corner, the corner doubles are the toughest ones in the game so you know that's that's the sort of the basis I use. I also try and play all the doubles at the same pace unless you've got to play a development shot off it or you know play a big positional shot but you know you don't want to be going to a new table or you know, something like that. Hitting doubles tough, because like I say, they come off straighter, and if it's slower you hit them, they come off wider. So, you know, sort of try and play all the doubles you can at the same sort of pace, really.
Well, thank you for that. That's a, a, a trick I've, I've not heard before, and, and doubling in the corners is something I've always struggled with, always found difficult. So I'm looking forward to giving this a go. Um, give it a go yourself. If this is something that's helped you, then let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Has this uh, helped you? And um, the other thing is, uh, please subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you next time.